Dr. Weke, um, this, this incident happened since 2003. Yes, we know that uh, it is a good thing that Blessing has been arrested. But if you read down this story, you will realize that Blessing has nine children and she is pregnant. That means that is the tenth. And uh, what is this thing with, um, I won't just say African women, what is this thing with a woman? You know that you don't have enough to sustain home. Why go in extra mile to keep, I mean, producing the number of children you cannot feed? Is it something that um, the women organization need to do to enlighten women again that if you know you cannot, I mean, better still give birth to what you can actually train? Because according to what we saw in the story, Blessing went to steal planting in order for her to be able to feed her children with results to this incident now. What do you think the government need to do to, be, to control, I mean, childbed in, in, in our country? I want to quickly differ. I don't think that uh, that's a moral issue. It doesn't have anything to do with the number of children one has. You know? If a thief, there could be a mother of one that is a thief. Or a known mother at all that will go to steal. But so in this story, I'm in this story, that it has something to do. It has a lot to do with her character as an individual. Because if you see a plantain, why not meet the owner, beg the owner? I've seen cases. Some women that are morally uh, conscious have borrowed money or even begged items from people, and then they are not able to return it. They can ask the person to go uh, do a farm in value exchange for what they've taken. You understand me? So I think it has to do with the character of uh, um, the woman under watch here. Yeah? Because if you say you have nine children, right? Those nine children have been feeding. Have you been stealing to feed them all this while? It's obvious. We don't know. We can't, there's no confirmation to that. Now, Dr. Weke, you, you know what I'm talking about childbirth because on Friday we saw in a story where a woman went to, went to I mean, um, went to sell her two sons in order to be able to train the remaining one. And we, we are still talking about nine children, according to uh, the reports that the woman has nine children. And so she decided to sell two in order to be able to cut her for the, for the remaining ones and also send these ones to school. And then still here, the story still said that Blessing has nine children, went to steal planting in order to be able to fit this one. It means that if she has um, involved in if she actually went to steal plantain and then someone saw her confronted her and she, and she couldn't at least let's say negotiate okay this is what happened and to an extent of carrying matcha and all of those or drop plantain you refuse to it, it means that this this cannot just be a day something it cannot be something that blessing just did for the first time it's a lifestyle like you you rightly stated that's what i'm talking about the, the children because majority of them are now using I did this to be able to train my children. It's because of economy in the country. That is why we you know, involve ourselves in you this. You know, there is something about criminals and criminal investigation. When somebody says, I stole to go and feed my children, it is, it is a statement you are getting from a suspect. A suspect. You do not even know whether she, she stole actually to feed her children. You can, we can confirm that. Because we are looking at a criminal here. She can as well still to give to her boyfriend is possible yes now so if a thief should be this let's try to separate uh, child bearing and the uh, criminality because it's a clear case of mother they have been i know one woman that has 12 children she never stole i've seen i've even had one that said the mom got, had uh, 14 beds uh, out of which 11 are alive she's not she has not been uh, identified as a thief so I think it's something that started even before she started getting pregnant. I suspect that she must have been a, a, a career thief. You know, for her to run and then stop, look at the tactics. She, she felt the woman would have left her at some point. Then she had to give, wait, waited and then started giving it back to the woman, not minding her condition of uh, being pregnant. So while we agree that there is economic implication of having so many children, especially in, in our era, we also have to know that most of these persons involved and using children as alibi, uh, the number of children they have as excuse, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, inborn criminals or uh, probably uh, uh, governmentally or socially induced uh, thieves. And you must have such moral strength if you claim to be a mother to withstand those kind of uh, 
circumstances that will lead you to being a thief. Because it's not just about having children. You must have time. And you must convey character message to them. They must see you as being a mother. They should uh, mimic their mentor, somebody they can hold on to. Do you understand what I mean? And not the mother that uh, they will be ashamed to talk about in the public. So somebody, be, will you want your own uh, daughter to be a thief? So you, you also have to live in a way that your children will not see you as a, a moral uh, uh, misdemeanor, a woman that they cannot reckon with. You know? So my point here is that whether government comes to regulate or not, there will still be women thieves. But, if, <coughs> but do you think it's, uh, it will be of good, uh, it will be a good development if government uh, come in in terms of regulating because you know, a majority that are involved in this, uh, like I said, they are always mm. using children in the name of uh, I did this to take care of my children and all of that. But if uh, uh, bed is, I mean, child bed is regulated, don't you think it will go no, a long it, way? No, the thing is that how it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult for government to regulate. For example, are you saying three per father or three per mother? Are you get what I'm saying? Like a mother, there can be a mother... Uh, to a child, to two, three children for this man here. Then you say, I'm done here, right? You, this man, don't, you are no longer like the way you behave. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it happens now, it's happening right now. <laughs> so, but, but come, let's uh, continue, journey. don't mind this man. So uh, why is the county going to take place? Is it that the woman, Madam, see, whether you like uh, Uncle Jones or Uncle James or Uncle whoever, <laughs> you must make maximum of three. <laughs> so he goes to Mr. Alalebo and then gives him one. And uh, he goes to James who begin to get angry. Why are you doing this to me? After you gave Alalebo two. So you uh, uh, the child should me. depend on, on uh, men, so not women. Or men. Uh, on men, not women, because we, we, are, we are mobile, like you said. Uh, like you can move from one place to another. You can make baby for anybody, yeah? Uh, but, but, I mean, men should control the number. Did have. you understand what I'm saying? Like, the men, uh, we are universal <laughs> donors. Who can one man can impregnate as many as 100 women. I hope you know that. If, he want, if the woman wants to. <laughs> it's very interesting. No? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you going to? Which one are they? Is it that they want to regulate based on registered marriages? Uh, we, are thinking, we are looking for the way forward. We, we uh, no, that's what I say. Except they will not say that. It has to be on registered marriages. If you register your marriage mm. according to the Marriage Act, mm. and then it's documented in the court, they take statistics of that person being married. 